Hi, I'm Marcin Kluczynski, CEO and founder of Malwarebytes. I'm here with Jer Jerry Balinson, deputy editor of Consumer Reports. Jerry, there's this huge, huge amount of uh, uh, internet-connected devices lately. What, what does that mean for the average consumer's privacy? Uh, yeah, privacy is a really good issue. You know, when you go on a computer or on your phone, you kind of are used to the idea that you're giving up some privacy because right. you're going on online, you're on a website. But if you walk into a store and facial recognition is being used, or you're just driving around, your car is tracking you, or your Nest therm thermostat is providing information um, out to servers. I don't think people are as aware of that, and there are a lot of privacy uh, questions that are going to come up. How is that information being shared? Uh, people love Fitbits. Um, how is that information being shared? Could that be something that is used by insurance companies in the future? So we think there are a lot of questions that have sort of been answered for the web in a lot of ways, you know, the you know, that train's left the station. But it's not too late for Internet of Things for us to get, um, you know, kind of more transparency and more kind of rules of the road around it. Yeah, so as all of these devices are connected together, I mean, you can pretty much paint a profile of, of what a user does or what a person does in the world, you know, based on their thermostat, based on their Fitbit, based on their car. Uh, how, how can you, could, could you visualize maybe an attack on how, how that privacy can be used for something malicious? Well, you know, there's security attacks and there's just privacy. So let's say I have a, a connected um, scale, bathroom scale, and that's a really very common thing nowadays. Right. It might connect to uh, my fitness app and my fitness device. Well, that's really good, but what if, you know, things are not looking so good in the scale and I start getting <laughs> ads on my Facebook feed for weight loss programs? Yeah, that sure. might be a little too creepy. I mean, right now there are insurance companies that will give you a deal on your insurance if you use a Fitbit. But what if you decide not to use the Fitbit? Then does that turn into a penalty instead of an incentive? Sure. So I think there are a lot of questions that are coming down the road on those things. In terms of security, the other thing that I'm really interested in is software patches. You know, we're very used to getting patches all the time or operating systems, iOS. That's really easy, but will there be over-the-air patches for devices in our homes? That's a question that I haven't heard that much discussion of yet. And just one last quick question. Do you think the average consumer understands how their privacy is being violated at the moment? Um, you know, I think people have a sense of it. I think people are shocked when they look even at like tracking on Google Maps and how much, you know, that it knows everywhere they've been. But when it comes to Internet of uh, Things devices, I think they have no clue. I don't actually think people even really completely have internalized the idea that the information is going from the device to a server and down to their phone instead of there being some direct connection. So I think there's a lot of education to be done. I think that's a great stance on, uh, on privacy. Thank you for that, for that feedback. And I'm Marcin Kuczynski, uh, CEO of Malwarebytes, uh, and thank you.